Hello guys, Nuki is back. Today I have a little bit of time to explain to you what are the types of electricity or energies which produce electricity we use today. So there's a file which I know which uh, I learned all these years. So first one is mechanical energy, second chemical energy, piezoelectric, solar energy and atomic energy. So mechanical energy is a movement of magnetic field between ordinary conductive, conductive material <coughs> and induces current in the wire. So or we call electricity in the wire. So it's got to be conductive. We usually use a copper and uh, aluminum or any conductive like um, metal, like any metal is conductive usually but the best conductor is uh we use a copper so what how we produce electricity in this wire is a simple thing i'm just de demonstrate this like you have a magnet going through the uh 90 degrees across the wire itself wire wiring you go 90 degrees and you're getting a, a voltage reading on the meter the same thing has happened on the power stage or generators they have a magnetic field of magnets on the rotor and on the steroid they have a windings which picking up those flux of magnetic field which we call in the wire electricity or current and the voltage current voltage is the power or electricity together it's got to be amperage is amount of 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 uh, uh, feel of let's say that flux and uh, voltage is the speed of that flux so voltage times current gives you wattage so that watt is a power so that's how how uh, we count all that, and that's a mechanical. We call that mechanical because you gotta you have a mechanical motion to produce electricity. That's mechanically most usable. I mean, we I think you use that the most. Everything is powered by usually magnetic fields or car electricity. You know, the, how uh, in this uh, mechanical energy, usually magnetic field is the key to producing, to, to having the, pre, uh, the amount and uh, speed of electricity in the wire. So it could be, we could say the flux of magnetic field or magnetic field is the uh, responsible for making electricity in the wire. Let's go on the second one. On that first one, we can talk for two days. There's um, a lot of different things which you can go in it, but I'm just telling mechanical energy, so it's got to be moving mechanically something near the conductor to produce the voltage reading on, in the wire. Chemical energy. Chemical energy we use, uh, we have batteries usually. That's uh, Chemical and that's DC usually direct current. Um, also, mechanical energy can be AC and DC. Batteries is a interaction between two different chemicals, where one of them has more electrons than other, and trying to reach other second chemical to balance itself. So to balance the number of electron in both chemicals. So you, you know everything uh, naturally usually trying to balance each other. So if you have two different chemicals, which one is more electron or giving and another needs electron. So that one's gonna, I think, go uh, on the other side until it balance itself. Uh, that's why that's what batteries does or chemical energy so it's an interaction between the two chemicals so I had uh, I made uh, battery cells like of um, 
was uh, from, I think, cardboard oil and two conductive uh, plates on the side and in between is the a cardboard fill it up with oil or let's say you can go coin battery you find on YouTube coin battery and I had LED light uh, was on like six days that's a chemical energy until it dries out and balance itself or disappeared in the air or whatever and uh, that's a chemical energy, so it's interaction between two chemicals. Third is a piezoelectric energy. is a type of crystals between two conductors. When conductors are making pressure on crystal material and crystal atoms release electrons by pressure. Or we can say piezoelectric is a pressure energy or we getting energy by pressure so I have here let's say these two conductive uh, discs and if we put them together close enough and put between the crystals uh, powder or some types of crystal which interacts but on pressure which release electrons on pressure so when you push these two sides you getting uh, uh, you you releasing the crystals uh, you releasing electrons in the crystals on these two plates so then you have a reading on these two plates voltage reading and that's a piezoelectric which reacts on pressure uh, fourth one is a solar energy is uh, I'm not gonna talk about solar and atomic energy because usually I'm not gonna use it oh, yeah. about solar energy we can talk a lot because right now we use solar energy mm, uh, by heat I mean you're using heat of uh, Sun to produce to produce electricity but also there's a uh, different types which was Tesla was talking about which is uh, it's not uh, uh, he was talking about that we have uh, uh some different kind of uh radiation from sun which we can have that all the time 24 7 doesn't matter if it's sun up or not but uh for that you need uh, we need a lot of study and experimenting and right now i don't even have a time to 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 make a video this year i'm going to school so once i finish it I will keep doing it, what I'm doing and researching for all of us and uh, six is atomic energy is uh, cooling down heat atoms to release re electrons so that's it's like cooling down heat atoms like let's say cooling down heat particles to release uh, a lot of uh, electrons so <clears throat> that's about it so I didn't go too much in it because I don't need atomic energy either and uh, I don't at for me the most the most interesting is mechanical energy I mean magnetic fields or uh, and uh, chemical energy which we can uh, uh, chemical energy I was I will play keep playing with um, battery cells which uh, I ordered the super capacitors so we'll see what's gonna happen then in mechanical energy I will play with magnetic fields of uh, power supply and that's it for now I hope you, you like this video on uh, types of electricity we use today and uh, if you think it's it's a good hit a like subscribe the channel and uh, share the video and uh, I'll be back with you very soon thank you